speaker taught over two months. It's like showing off a school, isn't it? It's like I, I've been, I could run for office. Our next speaker taught over 208 hours in 118 classes on mobile technology, MLS tools, and other real estate topics. He has a passion for helping agents and empowering them to take advantage of today's technology. Please welcome, all the way from Indianapolis, Indiana, from Keller Williams, trainer extraordinaire, Jay Cermak. Hi, good morning everybody. So my name is Jay Cermak and I'm here to talk about mobile technology. I have a question for everybody. By a show of hands, who here has a smartphone? Wow, really, the entire room, amazing. Congratulations, you now have the most powerful device in your hands that's used the most by anybody in history. Do you realize that? The average person uses at least five hours a day on their mobile phone. Think about that throughout the day. That's checking your phone, that's checking your mail, that's using your calendar. We're addicted to these things. I can't even leave my house without checking my phone every once in a while. However, my goal, my passion is empowering you to use it more. So today in this rapid fire session, I want to talk about the future. What's coming next in the next few years for real estate with regards to your mobile phone that you carry? And that's with augmented reality, AR. If you haven't heard of it, it is the new frontier for real estate and it's actually been around for a while. So let's start off with what is AR. Augmented reality. It's basically overlays information on top of the real world and is available through the mobile devices people carry every day. Well, is it new? No. It's been around yet most people are just starting to get used to it. To me, the advancements in mobile technology, it's a mix of hardware and software that keeps getting better year after year. Why do we upgrade our phones every few months for the best features and the best things? So what changed is really augmented reality with Pokemon Go. While you may not have played that game, the world did. And it became one of the most popular apps out there and mainly because you were looking through the lens of your camera and in real time you were capturing information, capturing a Pokemon or playing a game. And gaming is just the beginning of that kind of architecture and structure of things that we're gonna do. So I wanna show you how it's going to change real estate for the better. So first thing, we have apps that are already here today that you can download today, and I encourage you to download them and play around. The first one, if you haven't tried it yet, is HomeSnap. Now HomeSnap has many features as far as taking a picture of a house and finding out what the value is. It's allowed consumers to have information in their hands. One of their new augmented reality features is something called Walk the Line meaning it will show you the property lines of any home that you go visit, and you literally can walk with the phone in real time, seeing the grounds of the property, and walk through the property. To show you the borders and to see what the property is. This is information. If you think you're in the business of information on houses, well, that's been gone for a while. This is putting power in consumers' hands, yet I'm gonna show you where your value is gonna come in. So HomeSnap is a great app. If you haven't downloaded it, download it today. Another one is called Magic Plan. This allows you to measure a room, make floor plans on the go. I don't know about you, but when I'm touring a house and someone says, how big is this bedroom? I kind of wish I had a tape measure with me. And this app lets you do that. So if you haven't downloaded it, I also encourage you to do that. As you can see from the picture here, you've got people that just use the camera and it can tell by the lens what the actual measurements are of things. You can tag things for the door, and this is actually gonna allow you to make a floor plan that you can actually figure out the amount of materials you would need for new flooring, for paint, for wallpaper, for all kinds of applications. And in the real estate business, do you see how this app can be a value to you? Absolutely. These things are already here, and this is just what Augmented has done up until today. Another great one is House. Who hasn't used this app? This is great for decor ideas, right? Well, one of their best features is something called where you can use the camera to take a picture of your room on any product and place that product in the room. One of the difficult things when it works with a buyer, a lot of times we lack imagination. If I can't see past that ugly wallpaper or that red wall, we'll walk out of the house. This app allows you to kind of start visualizing putting your furniture in there. 
Well, it's good, you can see from this image that that's just a picture of a couch. It just looks like a picture. It's not real yet. That's what's gonna be changing. So what is changing with augmented reality? Well, Inman News just did an article in September. Thank you, Apple. Apple is what's changing it. Real estate apps just got a huge AR, augmented reality, boost. Because the latest iOS 11 is going to allow more AR opportunities that will soon be available for real estate. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, one of the things that they introduced is a software for AR kit, meaning we're giving the developers more options to integrate augmented reality in everyday apps. What this is doing, and that's different from what we've been doing, is this is going to let you put something in like a couch and use the lighting around you, the coloring around you, to make it look more real. While it was fun playing Pokemon Go and capturing a little cartoon character, imagine looking through the lens of your phone or your tablet and seeing the home that you envision while you're in the room in real time. That's what's changing. And that's what's just starting with the tip of the iceberg. So one of the best apps that's gonna let you start doing that is the Ikea app. And I'm gonna show it in a second because it's got a little mini video that's gonna play. When you watch this video, Pay attention to the lighting and the shadowing around the couch and the chair. It's gonna look like it's real. You saw with the Howl's app, I'll come back to it, that that's just a blue icon. And if you really look at it close, you see it looks more like a cartoon of a couch than a real couch. So it's like your mind still can't visualize it being there. So let's look at the IKEA Place app. Notice that you're using your phone to scan the surroundings. Then it's gonna say, let's pick from our catalog and choose a piece of furniture that you purchase. So here they're choosing the chair. Watch the lighting as he's moving. The shadowing is changing around it, so it looks like it's actually there. This is using the new AR kit that IKEA is one of the first people to test it out. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Augmented reality has kind of been here. Think about it, how do people tour homes now? We have products like Matterport, which allow you to walk through. And while you hear virtual reality, it's a great option. However, virtual reality requires a headset or something that you have to put over your eyes. Well, I don't know about you, but I've walked into a wall wearing one of those things. Not something you wanted to. This makes it into a real world application. And why it's important is everyone's watching. Everyone's watching what Apple does to see how this takes it to the next level. And it's not about Apple making anything. It's about putting the power of augmented reality in a software designer's hands to say, you know what, we would love to tour a home in real estate and have a person visually visualize it anywhere in the world. So that I can tour a home in Palm Springs while I'm back in Indianapolis. That I can go anywhere in the world and really go room by room, looking at every nook and cranny, inside a closet, up from the ceiling, and it look real. So what are the benefits of it? And how will it real AR assist in real estate? Well, Forbes Real Estate Council did this article in July. First thing to remember is the National Association of Realtors released the fact that 95% of people view homes online. That number has been lower in the past. I think it's higher than 95%. That's where they're starting. Think about yourself. Where do you go to look for the MLS? Online. That's where we are. So one of the things that's gonna benefit us is it's gonna allow a unique experience and perspective to potential buyers by digitally touring properties from anywhere in the world. Plus, it's gonna save real estate agents and clients time. Who doesn't want more time? I do. That's one of the best things about it, because what it's going to do is it's gonna put the virtual reality and augmented reality, and it will put the real and real estate in the hands of the consumer where it belongs. Our job is gonna be about nurturing relationships. They need us, because once they find that beautiful home that looks great on the tour, they don't know what to do next. That's where they still need us. So think of this as a positive thing. Download these apps and start getting used to it. So buyers are gonna narrow down their options and that's gonna mean fewer showings. Who in this room has shown like 80 houses to a buyer? Yeah, not fun. <laughs> that's one of the things that's gonna help you because they're gonna to come to you and say, hey, Jay, I love this home. I saw it online. I love every room. I even looked on Ikea. My furniture's gonna fit perfectly. I wanna write an offer. Who doesn't want that kind of appointment? that they came to you in my camera relationship, they will. So 
One of the biggest things, too, is if you're in luxury, luxury sales is going to depend more on immersive viewing experiences. So in the luxury market, it's kind of already been here, right? Every luxury listing wants that Matterport kind of tour. They expect the red carpet for real estate. So start getting used to these things now. It is going to make your life better and easier. And the best thing is everybody in this room right now has the device to do this. So take advantage of it. Put the power in your hands, put the power in the consumer's hands and be able to talk to them about it. Be that agent that gave them a tech tip for the day. Have you downloaded this app? Let them sit there and talk about how amazing you were for introducing them to a resource that's making their decision better. That's what's gonna stand out. So who here is excited now about augmented reality? Who's gonna download some apps? Awesome. Like I said, you have the most powerful device in your hand. There was a study recently that we now, with our laptops and our phone, are on those devices more than we sleep. Yeah. I see you all making your faces. You're probably at your phone with your bed, or in the bed with your phone. So I want to empower you with more technology this afternoon. So I would like to talk about my afternoon session called Tap That App. Very appropriately titled for this session. <laughs> so this is taking real estate on the mobile phone and helping you be more productive. So join me at 240, right across the hall in El Dorado 4, and we're gonna show you another three apps besides these four that are gonna help you generate more business, interact with clients, and take advantage of your mobile technology that you're carrying around because it is the most powerful device you have and the device you use the most. Thank you so much. I would like to uh, introduce the next speaker, my friend, my mentor, my coach, Darren Kittleson. Ah, give him a round of applause.